Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the world. The body of water is surrounded by Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Canada. It contains 10% of Earth's fresh water and has over 300 streams and rivers flowing into it. My research question is how does Lake Superior impact its surrounding land areas? The first way Lake Superior impacts its surrounding land areas is lake effect precipitation. According to Hydorn's 2007 article, Lake Effect Rains, lake effect precipitation arises when cold air passing for a sufficient distance over the relatively warm waters of a large lake picks up moisture and heat and then precipitates the moisture out over the lake or along the downward shore. Lake effect snow is especially prominent on Lake Superior. Lake Superior's southern shores in winter produce the greatest lake effect snows on Earth, according to Linder in 2014. Additionally, Lake Superior is large enough to change the region's climate, delay its spring, and moderate its summer and fall. As we can see, Lake Superior alone impacts the weather around it. Now we must take into account climate change. According to Huff and Thomas, in their 2014 report, Lake Superior climate change impacts and adaptation. A variety of changes to the climate in the Lake Superior region are anticipated during the course of the 21st century. Key expected changes are incre increase in annual average temperatures, slight increase in annual average precipitation, less precipitation in summer and more in winter, more precipitation falling as rain and less as snow, but little or no change in the frequency of lake effect snow events, increase in annual average lake water temperatures, increase in the summer temperature stratification season, reduction in the extent and duration of ice cover on Lake Superior, increase in wind speeds over Lake Superior, increase in the rate of evaporation from Lake Superior, resulting in slightly lower water levels, and increase in the length of the growing season. So what are we doing to counter climate change? According to the same article by Huff and Thomas, climate change adaptation is the adjustment in natural or human systems in response to actual or expected climatic stimuli or their effects, which moderates harm or exploits beneficial opportunities. Some actions that can be taken to adapt to climate change on Lake Superior are manage non-climate stressors such as pollution, habitat degradation, and invasive species. Manage habitats, species, and ecosystem functions. Conserve and connect habitats. Enhance adaptive management capacity. Increase knowledge and increase public outreach and motivate action. Now that we've seen how weather impacts the surrounding land areas of Lake Superior, let's have a look at the second way Lake Superior impacts its land areas, tourism. Lake Superior is a great tourism spot. Let's take Superior, Wisconsin and Duluth, Minnesota, for example. In those areas, there are Park Point Beach, Canal Park and the Boardwalk and the Lift Bridge, along with Gooseberry Falls and the Split Rock Lighthouse on the North Shore Scenic Drive. According to the Duluth Area Chamber of Commerce website, 3.5 million people visit Duluth every year. Tourism is one of the city's largest industries, bringing in well over $780 million in annual direct economic impact. According to Fredrickson's 2017 article, The Reality of Tourism in Duluth, Tourism boosts Duluth's economy by supporting local businesses and attracting millions of people every year. Tourism income makes it possible to preserve and restore historical buildings and monuments. As well, it is a clean industry since it's based on hotels, restaurants, and shops instead of factories. There are some downsides to tourism, though. It can degrade the environment. Tourists generate waste and pollution, such as air, water, solid waste, noise, and visual. Also, natural resource attractions can be jeopardized through improper use or overuse. Littering is also a problem seen as the result of tourism. But overall, tourism has more pros than cons. So how is tourism a geographic issue? 
It is because it deals with human geography, in particular, economic geography. According to the Dartmouth Library, economic geography seeks to describe and explain the absolute and relative location of economic activities. It attends to the relations between a location's natural and human resource base and the character of its economy. Therefore, tourism in Duluth is an example of economic geography. In conclusion, understanding the weather and tourism around Lake Superior can help one realize how Lake Superior impacts its surrounding land areas. People interested in engaging with this can do so easily. Visit Lake Superior and experience the lake effect snow or observe tourists in the summer months.